In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the orient on snap property. When we snap to a target component with orient on snap enabled, the selected object will be rotated to align with that component. Let's take a look at this using multi snap, which I'll enable using the radial menu. And I use the hotkeys control shift plus J to open the snapping options. I'll enable the orient on snap option at the bottom of this menu here. And this drop down below gives us three different orientation modes. The default is this standard axis to frame. And let's start by looking at how this works. I'll enable geo edge snapping and I'll also set the geo point to have a higher snapping priority. If I select this control knob and snap it to an edge on this torus object, we see that it gets orientated so that the selected object's Y axis is aligned with the edge component's normal direction and the X axis gets aligned with the direction that the edge is drawn in. The way the standard axis to frame orientation mode works is that it will always take the selected object's Y axis and align that to the target component's normal direction. It then takes the X axis of the selected object and aligns that with the tangent direction of the target component. We're going to be talking about tangency in detail in a later module, but for now I'm just going to cover a few basics to help us understand how this standard axis to frame orientation mode behaves. In the case of an edge, we can think of its tangent as the direction in which the straight line is traveling. And so when we snap to an edge using this standard axis to frame mode, we see the X axis always gets aligned parallel to that edge. If I snap the control knob object to a point on this torus, then we see that the Y axis gets again aligned to the normal direction of the point and the X axis is tangent to that point. The tangent of this point on the torus is the line which is perpendicular to the radius. So if I quickly switch to the top view by tapping space plus the two key, and now if we were to imagine drawing a straight line from the center of the torus to this point, and then draw a second line at 90 degrees to that radius line, then that second line would be the tangent. And we can see that the X axis has been aligned along that tangent line. The thing with calculating the tangency of a point on a curved surface though, is that the tangency isn't really a single direction. If I switch to the front view by tapping space plus the three key, and let's also switch to wireframe mode, then we can see that we could also draw a radius line from the center of this cross section and then a line at 90 degrees to this radius would be the tangent of this point from this view. I'll quickly switch back to the perspective view by tapping space plus the one key and I'll switch back to the shaded mode. Technically the tangent at this point on the torus could be at any rotation around that normal direction. The tangent of the point is really a plane rather than a single direction. So as I move the control knob object and snap it to different points on this torus, we see that the Y axis gets consistently and predictably aligned to the normal direction of each point, but the rotation of the X axis around the Y axis changes from point to point, depending on how the geometry is constructed. This standard axis to frame mode works pretty well for snapping to edges and points, but if I enable primitive snapping in the multi-snapping options, and I'll also just increase the edge and the point priorities, now, if I try to snap this object to a primitive on the torus, you see that it's getting flipped to face in the opposite direction to the surface normal. The other two orientation modes don't tend to do that when snapping to primitives. So I'll just snap this back to an edge to reorientate it to be the right way up. And let's go to this drop down for the orient on snap options and choose nearest axis to frame. This mode works in a similar way to the standard axis to frame. But rather than always aligning the selected object's Y axis to the target component's normal direction and the X axis to the target's tangent direction, it takes whichever axis is currently closest to the normal direction and aligns that to the target component's normal direction. And whichever axis is closest to the target component's tangent direction gets aligned to the tangent. So if I move this control knob across the different primitives of the torus, we firstly see that it's no longer getting flipped to face inside the target primitive, but instead gets aligned to point in the same direction as the primitive surface normal. If I snap it to this edge, we see that it looks as though it's behaving in the same way as the standard axis to frame mode, because it's aligned the control knob's Y axis to the edge's normal direction, and its X axis has been aligned with the tangent direction of the edge but that's only because these axes are currently the closest axes to the edge component's normal and tangent directions. 
If I rotate the control knob so the angle of the x-axis is closer to the edge's normal direction than its y-axis is, and move it to snap it again, then we see that Houdini's now aligning the x-axis to the normal direction, because that's the closest axis. If I rotate the object around its x-axis so that the z-axis is now closer to the tangent direction of the line and snap it again, we see that the control knob gets rotated so that its z-axis is now aligned with the direction of the line. So that's how nearest axis to frame works. The last mode to look at is nearest axis to normal. So I'll select that from the drop-down menu and this is the simplest of the three modes because it only aligns a single nearest axis to the normal of the target component. It doesn't align a secondary axis to the component's tangent direction. So if I take the control object and rotate it back so that the Y axis is closest to the normal direction and then move it to snap to these different edges and primitives, we can see that the Y axis is being aligned to the normal, but it's not getting rotated around its Y axis. It's maintaining the same rotation around its y-axis as I snap between the different components. So that's a look at the orient to snap options. We don't have quite the same level of control for the primary and secondary axes that we do with the align state and orientation picking. But you can see for situations where we don't actually need viewport handles for the axis controls, then orient on snap is quicker to work with if we want to be able to just drag and move objects around a surface while snapping and orientating to those components.